What's up you guys, I'm John Turner, this is Woods to Table, and I'm coming to you from a madhouse tonight because tonight I'm playing the role of super dad and babysitter all rolled into one. Afton and her friends are out for a much needed and much deserved girls night out, so I've got our kids, I've got a few of the neighbor's kids, I've got some of my friends coming over tonight, so amidst all the chaos, and you guys can see I've got uh, kids in the background, I got iPads going, there's more kids upstairs, more kids around the corner, no frills, this is real life, uh, but I need a simple dinner that's gonna feed a bunch of people and it's gonna be delicious. I think I got something that's gonna work using some pork off of the pig that I killed the other night. So let's jump in, I don't have much time. Okay, so basic overview of what I'm gonna do here. I've got the front shoulder from the pig uh, that we harvested the other night. Hopefully you guys saw that video. And we're gonna season that, sear it, and then roast it in a pan for a couple of hours. So it's not lonely in there. We're gonna uh, accompany that with some baby portobello mushrooms, onions, carrots, celery, garlic, and a little bit of rosemary grown here at the house right on top. Okay, so step one in this process, um, clean up your front shoulder. Uh, in this case, I've already trimmed all of the, the undesirable parts off of this. Um, this was actually the side of the pig um, that the broadhead went in, and so I've already trimmed off most of the bloody pieces of meat. Done the best that I could to kind of dry this off, and then we're gonna season both sides of this with um, salt and pepper and some Everglades heat seasoning, which if you haven't had it, I know it's not available everywhere. I think you can get Everglades online. Um, I get it at Publix, but some of the grocery stores around here actually don't have it. Um, check it out if you've never tried it before. So Everglades heat, um, salt and pepper on both sides of the pork in whatever quantity you want. I like a lot of seasoning. And let's go ahead and sear the meat on all sides. This will not take long if you get the pan hot enough. All right, so now we've seared this on all sides. The color is looking really good. Just going to take this off the stove and add it to our pan. Then we'll start to add all the other ingredients around that. Get it into the oven. Okay, so let's go ahead and add all the other ingredients to our pan. We'll start with the baby portobello mushrooms, mix those around, add our cut up pieces of sweet onion, chopped carrots, a few cloves of garlic, and celery. Then we'll just add a little bit of rosemary, spread that around in there. Cover this with foil, throw it in the oven, we'll be all set. We're gonna throw this in on 350 for about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, and just let it come up to temperature. And then we're gonna back the heat off to about 300 degrees and let that cook for a couple of hours, maybe around three hours. And then we'll check it, see where we go from there. All right, so we've waited patiently. It's finally time. It smells delicious in our kitchen. I'm starving. This is gonna be phenomenal. But it's one thing to cook for people that are hungry, and it's another thing to cook for people that have a full stomach. And we've got, finally, the Real Housewives of Waxhaw back from their night out, who are gonna be our official taste testers tonight. So we're gonna get this thing unpacked, which looks like it's gonna be delicious, and get their reaction. All right, so this turned out absolutely awesome. We kind of guessed on the time, we kind of guessed on the temperature, couldn't have worked out better. It was absolutely falling off the bone. So with two forks, pulled it apart, put it back in the juice, and let's serve this up and get everybody's opinion on the taste test. What do you guys think? Looks great. Yeah. Wow, yeah. So just excited. a small taste test, because I know you guys have already eaten dinner. Yeah. So now I know you're going to know it's good. Yes, yeah. we're ready. Real quick, before we dive in, why don't we quick uh, say the lesson for you? Yep. Yep. God, thank you for this food, thank you for this day, thank you for all of our many blessings. We thank you for your son, and ask you to forgive us of our sins, and we give you a prayer. Amen. All right, dig in. I want your honest reaction. Let's go. Okay. 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 It's really good. Mm -hmm. It's super tender. I love the spices. Yeah. yeah. 
I can taste the right. rosemary and it's really good. Mm. There's no so gamey either. Oh, yeah. yeah. It is. Mm. The texture is really, really good. Mm -hmm. We dig it. Avery, I, like it. I mean, if a 10 year old likes it, yeah. she's kind You're of in. She's digging yeah. into the vegetables, too. So yeah. This one doesn't fall into the quick category, but definitely into the easy category. You guys saw it probably was like 10 minutes of prep to get this thing into the oven. It was delicious. Whether you're hungry, whether you're full, everybody's going to wind up with clean plates. Thank you guys for being a part of it. We'll see you next time.